Hello, Internet, and welcome to my little rant. Now, there's a lot going on in our thriving YouTube community today. Unfortunately, we have freebooting and stipulations with fair use. Um, but today, I want to talk about something a little different. And this kind of stems from a story that sort of happened to me a few days ago. Um, so I was just browsing YouTube, as I typically do, checking out channels and stuff that I find interesting. And I stumbled upon a video um, by someone that I follow that was particularly interesting. Now, I, I skimmed through this video. I saw a shot that I'm like, huh, that looks very familiar. I'm like, oh, wait, actually, that's my footage. Um, and I thought, like, OK, well, that's kind of cool. I, I look up to this person. Um, they have some cool stuff. Um, but then I started seeing more of them. And it wasn't just one shot. It was two, then it was three, then it was four. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, they used like a minute and a half of my footage. Now, obviously, I'm in a panic. Um, and normally, I wouldn't have too big of an issue of, about this if they would have asked. Um, but the issue is this. Um, so I typically try to get you know, more artistic shots and stuff within games. But and I, I also watermark my stuff. Because I, you know, people stealing my stuff is like a huge fear for me. Um, so, but this video, it, all that was cropped out. So all my watermark shots were you know, purposely zoomed in to get rid of the watermark. Um, and to make matters worse, this was a sponsored video. So someone had paid this creator to create this video. Um, but in turn, they used stolen content to, as part of the video. Um, so of course, I was like, you know, all these red flags are going off. I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Um, so I screen recorded it um, because I wanted evidence of it happening. I've seen plenty of cases of freebooting and different kind of things like that uh, take place. Um, so I screen recorded it. I sent this to the person. I was like, hey, what's up with this? Why, you know? And then it's, it was, I don't know. It just, I was so flustered and so angry about it. I had time to settle down. The person actually reached out to me um, and actually gave me a very sincere apology. You know, they were, they were rushed for a project and they grabbed the footage because they needed to hit a deadline. And that doesn't excuse the fact that someone stole from me, but it made me realize that there's actually a bigger problem here that's bigger than me, that's bigger than this incident. Um, and it actually, you know, it's about YouTube as a whole. I think there's a problem with the community in general, and that is we don't give credit where credit is due. Now, a lot of things fall underneath the, you know, the big umbrella of fair use, um, but there are some elements of it that just feel wrong. You know, every day I log onto YouTube, I see stolen artwork and thumbnails, I see uncredited music, I see ripped video clips and animations. And a lot of times, these people don't even know this is happening. Um, and us as content creators, sure, we, can, you know, we utilize that stuff just like the news does um, in our videos, but you know, these individual artists, you know, because they never know about that, it's like we're just kind of preying on them. And until about a year ago, I never really saw the harm in it. But then I started to think about it, and it was kind of weird. When we were younger and we had to write a research paper, we had to give credit where credit was due. You know, we would cite many sources, from encyclopedias to websites to videos, and if we didn't, it was plagiarism. But if you think about it, what's the difference between taking writing versus an image versus music versus a video? You know, I'm, illegally, I'm sure it boils down to something, but on the surface, it's the same. You know, every day we take, and we take from, from other creators who may not be on YouTube. We take from artists, we take from musicians, and we don't give them credit. When we're younger, we would get hardcore busted for this. So why is it different now? Why are we, as such a loving community, taking from all these people and not sharing the love? You know, if I was an artist and I kept creating you know, images every day, but someone kept stealing them from me and using them and making money off them in their videos, why would I keep creating? Like, I just keep getting snuffed out and no one's giving me credit for my artwork. Um, and, you know, I'm not perfect either. I've, I've, you know, I've done this in the past. I've, I've used things and not really thought about where I'm using them from. And, you know, it's not okay. It sucks because this taking mentality is spread throughout the entire community. You know, sometimes we're just like, oh, fair use, fair use. But these are people. These are people who are, you know, pouring their time into their passions and you know, we're just snapping them up for thumbnails and all these different things, and it's kind of a slap in the face to the creative community. You know, as, this, as being this big, loving YouTube community, why is this mentality all over the place? But this leads me to another problem we have in our community, and it's the fear to ask, or I don't even know what you want to call it, but basically, 
it's people not reaching out to other people about things and just, just taking. Um, you know, when I see something cool online, whether it be artwork or music, I'm like, oh my gosh, this would be so cool for my video. I reach out to the person and I get permission to use it. And I think that's a big issue with YouTube is we just often just take things and then we either don't credit or we just throw something in the bottom of the description and be like, oh, it's there. Um, but, you know, more times than not, these people are ecstatic about like, oh my gosh, I'm glad you reached out to me, you, you, for sure. And then, then I give them a shout out in the video because I, I believe it's, it's proper to give them credit where credit is due. They made something awesome. Their item made my video way better than it would have been without it. So it's like, yeah, I'm going to give you guys a shout out in the video. I want people to check out your stuff. I don't want to hoard this all for myself because I think that's selfish. And there's a lot of selfish mentality on YouTube. You know, people don't want to share the spotlight, but you know, these are, with other YouTubers especially, but like artists, musicians, all these are still considered collaborations and they should still be treated the same way. Just because they do a different medium doesn't mean you can just take from them and not give them credit. You know, if this YouTuber would have just asked me to use my footage, I would have said yes. And then I would have given him a high five for asking me and just reaching out in general. But the thing is, people just don't ask. And a lot of those same people don't respond either. You know, you can send them a message, you can send them a tweet, and you just hear nothing back. Now, I understand, you know, people with larger followings can't get to every message or maybe every, every message isn't opportune for them, but it's so weird. I mean, I can't, I can't put my finger on it. You know, this is something that, I came from corporate America, and I wanted to leave that mentality behind because that's very corporate BS. And I, I hate it. Like, we're supposed to be this loving community that thrives off one another. So why are we just, why is there silence? And why, why are people not talking? And this is, a, this is a huge problem because, you know, I, I can see past this. I mean, I have experience with, you know, doing this stuff in corporate settings. And it's like, okay, I've seen this before. It's whatever. But the problem is this. The people, the content creators of the future, the people that are starting today, are not going to be able to get past this. They're going to reach out and they're not going to get any answer and you, that may stop them from creating. And that sucks. Now some people would argue that this is dumb because competition can become too fierce on YouTube. You know, there's channels rivaling with other channels for viewership, but, and then also, you know, maybe someone was burned in the past by trusting someone and they don't want to let anyone else in. I, I understand that. But this is across the board. It doesn't matter what size your channel is. The same kind of mentality seems to, to be taking place. And it's super silly. It's weird. People will always watch videos. And there will always be more videos to watch. And what doesn't matter is if those people also watch my videos, or her videos, or his videos. There's more than enough for everyone. So why are we building these walls? Why are we running YouTube like a prison? Now, I understand this is a job for some people. But to some degree, like, we should all be thriving off this. Like, it would be more beneficial for us to tear down these walls and be more open to, you know, hearing people and, and, and seeing their comments. And I also think our fans, you know, our fans sense this. You know, I, comment on, I try to comment on tons of videos, even if it's a small channel, even if it's someone who's just starting out. Be like, hey, you know, this is pretty cool. I like your content. I'm giving them that hope. But, like, you know, sometimes when I comment on people who produce videos similar to mine, my fans are like, oh my gosh, I, I didn't know you also watched this. It's like, of course, like this stuff's cool. Like, I, I mean, I, I'm not gonna put up walls and pretend these people don't exist. They're being creative and they're chasing their dreams just like I am. So why am I going, I'm not gonna pretend like they're not there. I'm gonna treat them with respect as if, as if they are a peer of mine, even if I don't know them. And I think that mentality is the one we should be taking with all of this. You know, we live and breathe on social networks. I mean, we are supposed to be social, so why are we being so anti-social? Now, I understand that messages can be lost, tweets cannot be seen, and all that stuff, and that's totally understandable. But what's weird is this. I reach out to game developers, musicians, and artists all the time, and they respond right away. But you know who doesn't respond? YouTubers. They give me the cold shoulder, or they give other people the cold shoulder. I'm not the only one who's experiencing this. Which leaves me wondering why? Why does it have to be this way? Um, it's, why can't we be a loving community? Why can't we share things and, 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 and be like, you know, give people thumbs up and be like, oh, this is so awesome. You know, it, it always makes me wonder about like even in real life, like 
if you were walking down the street and someone said hello, you would probably say hi back. So why is there silence behind the screen? It's truly baffling. 